Hello, Iris Zero here. Hope you're all well. I'm good. Thank you very much for asking. So, it started a week, so why don't we start off with, uh, with a pleasant, upbeat story um, about suicide and murder and involuntary murder. Uh, in the US, in Massachusetts, uh, there's a girl, a teenager, uh, she's about 17 or was 17, uh, Michelle Carter. Now, if you haven't heard this story, she's basically now going on trial for encouraging and pushing her boyfriend to commit suicide. Uh, her boyfriend, her, his name is uh, Carter, wait, I'm going to look this up, uh, Carter Roy III. Uh, he was suffering from depression apparently for a while and he was going to kill himself by getting on a truck at where the back was filled with uh, carbon monoxide and you know go that way. Um, but then he decided, you know what, I can't really do this. So he started texting her and said, hey, I don't want to do this. And then she said, no, 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 you have to do this. You know, basically, I'll put in a story, uh, the story I was reading on the website. And she's basically telling him, like, hey, man up, you wanted to do this, so go do it. And it's these texts is what they're basing the trial on. And of course, her defense said, oh, it's, you know, texts or freedom of speech, can't really punish her, or you can't put a trial based on what she said um uh, but apparently yeah you can't the uh they're saying oh it was systematic she knew what she was doing which makes perfect sense i mean she's 17 you know you you're not stupid you know what the fuck you're doing you're not like a 13 year old on a message board you're telling someone who trusts you to go kill themselves when they're in a depressive state and are trying to kill themselves so i don't know if there's a precedent for this like what how far this can really go obviously he's going to trial but if she's found guilty like where does she go like how long does she go to prison and of course it does bring up the case of you know like was this just a freedom of speech thing because i know there have been many many times when i'll admit it, i wanted to tell people to go kill themselves when i was just so frustrated but usually it's only for a few few minutes like something happens on the street or something like that like and, and it goes away and if it if I told someone to go kill themselves and then they actually try to go kill themselves, I'd absolutely stop them from doing it. Um, so I kind of, so it would be kind of hip, completely hypocritical or maybe kind of hypocritical if I said like, oh yeah, you should throw, lock her away, throw away the key. But at the same time, I mean, she's obviously clearly a cunt. Um, like anyone who kind of encourages someone to kill themselves like that, it's like they're clearly fucked up and not like in the oh let's coddle them and treat them like the victim kind of way like clearly something should be done it should be punished in some way but i think involuntary manslaughter i need to look up what exactly that means and what that does mean for her but uh yeah it is sad like she obviously had some kind of influence over him and uh she was her she was his girlfriend so she very easily said, okay, you're not doing it. You don't want to do it. Okay, step off the truck. Go talk to someone. Go meet someone. Uh, no, instead, she basically told him to man up and kill himself, which is kind of shitty uh, when you think about it. Because, I mean, we all go through our bad spells. And for a lot of people, the reason why they don't go all the way is because they do have people to, to help them out. Uh, and obviously, this guy didn't. He trusted himself with this horrible twat who clearly shouldn't have but it was probably like a self-esteem thing where you know she probably allegedly i don't know i don't know her as a person but maybe she did systematically just wanted him to die because she's just fucked up i don't know but it's sad in any case and of course it does bring up the whole issue if you know someone with mental health that's clearly mental health issues that are clearly in this position help them out because you know, make sure that if you're a good person that cares about someone, make sure they know that because they could have a bad person who doesn't care about them that could push them over the edge. And they could be in a position where they think, oh, this is the only person who's even talking to me, so I'm going to do what they say. So, you know, always listen out. Anyway, what I have, like I said, a nice bright start to the week. Well, I hope you're having a good one, and if you're in America, happy 4th of July. And uh, till tomorrow, I say, have a good one.